Welcome to the Lock Group Business Advice web series, in which we offer insights on ways to improve market share, increase revenue, and decrease cost through Trinity Business. Hi, I'm Phil Swearingen, and in this episode, I'm going to share insights about the evolutionary process of becoming a lean leader. One glaring reason why most change initiatives fail is a lack of leadership support. Lean leaders need to be visibly engaged, have the ability to inspire confidence, and provide support among the people who are needed to achieve organizational goals. Communicate clear goals and a direction for the organization to stakeholders. As appropriate, establish a catalyst for change the organization can rally behind. To really understand, a lean leader must go to the place that work happens and seek to understand while showing and maintaining respect to the people involved. To quote an excerpt from the book titled The Toyota Way, every manager at Toyota is a teacher. Developing exceptional people is their number one priority. Through first-hand knowledge of a situation, a lean leader can mentor an individual manager on how to manage change, how to best develop staff skills or quickly detail resources to address insufficiencies. By going to where the work is done, a lean leader can drive accountability for an outcome help build in staff a sense of belonging to something bigger, or help a team learn how to address and overcome a barrier. To increase visibility and demonstrate their support, lean leaders should personally kick off large improvement events, attend improvement team report outs, and have team members exhibit their implemented improvements. I also recommend building a plan up front to communicate to the organization the progress being made and the team outcomes to celebrate. Finally, the lean leader must also have a watchful eye on the organization to balance the need for change against change fatigue. If you're interested in learning to become a more effective lean leader, call or write us.